What's going on guys, Mr. TechBot here. I am out in Atlanta, Georgia at the Great Wolf Lodge Resort. Of course, it's right behind me. Um, I've actually been out here a couple days, figured, you know, kind of spend a little family time, get to know the lay of land before I do the resort tour. Um, but this is a good location. It is newer, it's fairly new. I believe it opened back up in 2019, 2018, somewhere in that area. So it was one of their newer ones. Um, as of course, they're always opening up new ones. I think they've got uh, more new ones opening up in Baltimore. And I think there's another one in Kansas City or something like that. We're gonna check out the Atlanta, Georgia one because maybe if you're on this southeastern board of the area and this is your closest one, maybe this will give you an idea of if you wanna check this place out and hang out and see what there is to, to offer. All right, guys, from the outside, of course you have an easy spot right over there you have the adventure park it is kind of overcast so this is probably the only day so far this week that we've been here that's been kind of overcast but the benefit to that is it's an indoor water park so that doesn't stop the fun at all anyways but again you got you got a straight entrance right to the adventure park that'll take you right into the main area and then right to the water park of course this is the main entrance to the lobby where you would come in and check in and then this up here of course is the tower this is the resort towers and then they even have a huge um uh convention center here so you can have events and, and different situations like that and maybe incorporate rooms and an event in the same situation so uh, it could be a win-win depending on your situation all right so right off the bat this is the lobby huge big open front fireplace they don't i've never actually seen them use the fireplace maybe they do more in the winter time um, this is the morning, so of course they have great activities for kids. Looks like this morning they're getting ready to do kids yoga. Uh, my kids aren't too much a yoga type, so they're not really into that. Uh, but this is the check-in area. I love the uh, wolves running uh, look of the check-in area. Now right off the lobby, they have a popcorn exchange. Let's go check this out. Well, they're doing yoga back here. Uh, a little loud, but that's okay. We have lots of stuff in here now. You know, being from Disney, you know, we know merchandise. They've got all kinds of merchandise. But this is, you know, kind of a new for me because it's stuff I haven't really seen. So, of course, they got great stuffies, squishables, I think is what they're called, all the way with the kids nowadays. But of course, they've got them all in their wolf type of characters that they have out here. Um, all kinds of kids stuff out here, of course. I think some of these cups, some of these cups, I think, are color changing too, which aren't bad. I mean, they're four bucks. So if you wanted to get a set for the kids um, for home, but it's always fun. Cool one. My kids love these types of cups. These are twelve ninety nine. Um, great Wolf Lodge. And then they have some great um, merchandise for adults for Grant Wolf Lodge type merchandise. Um, and then they have a lot of really fun t-shirts up over here. Um, some of them, you know, just basic Grant Wolf Lodge stuff. I love it where you got the wolves um, and they, they talk about the families on the back of the vehicles. They even got some that are kind of Iron Wolf up here, you know, Super Wolf, stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. They, they do a lot of playoff things. And then they've also got some really great Columbia type of outfits over here. Um, these are gonna be about 75 bucks, but you got the paw print on the front. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I really, really like these. These are, these are really nice. This one goes for $70. My, one of my favorite areas, the mugs. So of course, you got all kinds of cool Great Wolf Lodge. I love this, this cup, glass cup kind of. 10 bucks. Get a mug here. It's kind of small though. I this would probably be more of like a camping type mug for 13. Also got some shiny ones up here. So a lot of water bottles, lots of mugs. Um, this is a lot of people. I mean, you can't ever have enough mugs or water bottles. So this one I really like. You know, if you drink a lot of coffee or tea, as I like to do, $24.99. Red Wolf Lodge has a cover on top. Probably keep your stuff nice and warm for a while. But that's the main part now. Attached to Buckhorn um, Exchange, you've also got the candy shop. Our kids can come if you have the different passes. I'm um, going to more of those in detail later. But you get the different passes, you can do plenty of things with candy, but put your own buckets together of candy and a bunch of packaged candy back here, too. So, on the back side of where they do yoga, they have this big wall. Now they used to, when we've been here back in the day, and when I've seen other ones, they used to use this more as the story time, where they use this to kind of have animations and stuff like that. 
Now they're kind of doing story time on the other side. They're kind of doing most of the activities on the other side now. So uh, they're not really using this as much except for like some game time stuff like that. Um, now, of course, down at the finishing off the lobby area, we have uh, Barnwood. Now, Barnwood is the main restaurant they have here. Uh, a little bit more expensive than the quick service in the back. Um, reservations are recommended, but not required. You can usually walk in and get a table pretty easily. But this is going to be your higher end type of restaurant uh, where you're going to have you know, the steaks, the high end food, stuff like that. They have a good bar back here as well. We're going to head down this way. Uh, it's the Brit Wolf Candy Company. And into what they call the Adventure Park. Now you're going to see different spots like this all over the place. This is part of their Magic Quest game. And they have these little items like these all over the walls. They got chests all over the place. Stuff like that for, you know, this Magic Quest game which has to do with wands. It's great for kids because it can keep them occupied and um, it basically has them go from one end of the hotel to the other end of the hotel area so it kind of keeps them busy. Of course we have some well-known items here for you guys to check out like Dunkin Donuts. In the morning they are only open till about noon strangely enough even though most Dunkin Donuts are open late but you can get all your basic Dunkin Donuts favorites here. Now, right before Dunkin' Donuts, but I just passed, they actually have Camp Howell and the build a bear workshop. Now, Camp Howell, we haven't seen open at all, which is actually just past those doors over there. Um, I don't think they're really using it much, but then you got Build-A-Bear here. Now, it's about 9. I don't think Build-A-Bear opens until about 9.30. Hours are this time of year are kind of weird. I don't know if they're having issues with staffing or whatnot, but... We got Build-A-Bear back here. Basic Build-A-Bear prices. Trust me, you're not going to get any kind of savings here. Um, I just had to buy two the other day myself. But right next to Dunkin' Donuts, of course, we've got Ben & Jerry's. Now, of course, in here, you've got all kinds of tree-type theming, kind of like you're in the forest. Um, and it brings to the, um, you know, the, the Magic Quest type of theme. Uh, ben & Jerry's ice cream, a great spot to stop at at the end of the night, maybe after the dance party or something like that. And then of course, right across from there, we have the Yards. Uh, the Yards is a newer, was not here when I was here back in 2019. Um, this is all, um, you can basically book an hour, and it's all virtual reality screens. Um, they're all different, you can do like top golf type stuff on there, you can do hockey, you can do zombie dodgeball, stuff like that, but it's all virtual reality screens back there. Across from the Yards, we have Magic Quest. This is where kids come and make their wands for the game, and you know, play, they should pay for the game. They should pay for the game. So you get all kinds of different accessories, things like that, but the main thing people come in here for is the wands. Get different types of toppers here, different types of wands up here, stuff like that. So of course you get different types of pricing. You get it's 15 bucks for the game, plus the wand. Now there is ways to save on that, but I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later. Of course, we have part of Magic Quest. You got the giant dragon that, of course, you have to beat at the end. Crossing the dragon, you got Paddle Bay Outfitters. Oh, there goes the dragon right there. See, he talks all day long. Um, across from there, you've got the Outfitters. This is mainly where you find swimwear if you forgot a bathing suit, or you need a rash guard, or you need goggles, or stuff like that this is where you come um, so if you've forgotten any of that stuff come check out the outfitters uh, prices are fair and then of course um, we got the big I don't even know what this is called but this is a big adventure park so you have a water area right here that you can get um, bags uh, that you can kind of mine and get little gems on and stuff like that of course we got a little sign here that kind of tells you what all the different spots are and on the side here, you get the attraction sales. You can get all different items here. This is where you come to get your, for your ropes course, your mining stuff, your climbing wall, your paw alley, um, you know, things like that. So you come to that booth and you get all your different items. Uh, prices are very, again, they'll be able to tell you different ways you can save on uh, these items um, towards the end. We got Howl in one. This is a, I believe, a mine 
nine hole uh, course. Of course, it's all like outdoor themes from having raccoons to bears, owls over there. Um, it's kind of a short course. I mean, it's not going to be long. It's meant for kids. So, you know, it's not something that, you know, it's going to be, you know, your average mini golf course is going to uh, be longer, more in detail. This is, in this small space, it's kind of, you know, it's made for smaller kids type stuff that would be a little bit of fun. And not anything too serious. And of course, up right above that, you've got, this is the adventure course. Um, you got two levels of adventure course. You got one level here and then another level way up top there. Of course, they are all strapped in by harnesses and everything, so the, the kids can't fall by any means. Uh, if they are, they're just really just going to dangle there until they get caught back up. Uh, but this is something that's fun. Uh, my daughter is going to try this a little bit later, uh, today or tomorrow, and uh, you know, try this out and see what she thinks about it. So she's kind of scared, but you know, that's part of doing something new. This type of arcade isn't like. You know, the arcade where you're going to sit there and play video games. This is a lot of ticket-based um, type of arcade. Um, now the window isn't open yet, but you can always pay for um, an arcade card and just start playing right away. But they have a lot of, like, you know, the quarter base types where you can get a lot of tickets and stuff like that. That's what my kids love to do. Um, and uh, different items. Of course, you got ski ball. You have some arcade items like Jurassic Park, Halo. Um, I think you got some racing ones in the back, but majority of these games are gonna be ticket-based type of games. Now, some give tickets and some go directly on your card. But my kids love this, but do keep in mind, prices are kind of high. I think it's like 50 bucks for 200 credits, and each machine's about 10 credits a piece. So, Figure that one out. First, continue to go around the adventure park. We have the rock wall. Rock wall is, uh, you, you, I think it's about three different people going at a time. Um, and I love the ball up there. It just it brings a great look out here. But usually you'll find the staff out here a little bit later today. And of course, this is that other entrance that I pointed out to you where you have the adventure park side. So this would walk right into here. And of course, we also have Ten Paw Alley. This is a little bowling alley. The lanes are really short. They're maybe about a third the size of a normal bowling alley, maybe even less. It's really short, so if you have younger children, it's a great location to have fun and hang out. Um, they're small, you can just like grip them, and just like a normal bowling alley, you can put bumpers on and uh, set it for different people. But uh, a lot of fun for especially smaller kids that wouldn't be able to go to a normal bowl alley because the lanes are too long or the um, balls are too heavy. So this is a perfect idea for them. Now getting in some of the food stuff, we have Hungry as a Wolf. This is location would have things like pizza, um, pasta, items like that. And um, pizza, this, this area would have pizza, pasta, chicken wings. Uh, different items like that. So that's where you can get those. You got the campfire kitchen, which is right now, it's misconceiving because the app says it is open for dinner, but it's not. It's only open for breakfast. It is a breakfast buffet, but we're gonna check that out a little bit later and give you a full review on that location. I can give you reviews on the quick service items because, I mean, they're pretty basic. Pizzas, everything's about 50-50, good, bad, either way. They're not great. But they're not horrible, so take that for what it is. Uh, you got Timbers here, which unfortunately has been closed this entire time. It used to be more of a barbecue type item, and I love the look of this where it was a, uh, they redid a school bus for it. But they haven't opened it the entire time. When we were here in 2019, it was fully open, a lot of fun, assuming they're having staffing issues. And then you have buckets here. This is your basic items, burgers, hot dogs, chicken strips, things like that. They have some specialties like cheese curds, Cajun fries, and stuff like that. So this actually, oh, these open to both sides from the water park to the regular seating area. Of course, 
where are we at? We're at a water park resort, and the water park is just behind me, uh, behind this glass. Here. There's a big window here, right by the main entrance from the inside to the water park. Um, this area is not open till 10 o'clock. The adventure park area is a lot of fun, a lot of things for kids to do. Um, maybe you can do them all in one day, you rush through, maybe skip the water park, do a bunch of different activities. It's always a good possibility. But you know, take your time, you know, depending on how many days you have here, take your time, enjoy yourself, do a little bit. Now, ways you can save, um, if you book in, if you book in advance, you can get different areas. You got, you know, the paw pass, you got the wolf pass, you got a pup pass. Um, I didn't, I know I didn't say those in order by any means, but you can book them in advance and save yourself some money. Uh, you have different levels of what you get by each one i believe the pup pass and the paw pass are the same price at 59.99 and you have the wolf pass which is 79.99 now the wolf pass gives you the most but those are probably more inclined for the older kids because those give you the adventure park gives you um bowling it gives you miniature golf it gives you the rock wall pretty much gives you everything in here even a mining bag uh for them to do so the majority of this stuff, plus they also get mad. I, pretty, I think, I think majority of the different passes give you magic quest and a wand. Um, not 100% sure if the pup pass does, but um, I think like the pup pass is the only one that will give you build a bear um, for the young, the smaller kids and stuff like that. Uh, whereas you know the the middle one gives you goggles and um, you know they all give you candy stuff like that. Um, all different levels, see what fits for you and your family and your kids, because these can actually save you a lot of money, um, especially the Wolf Pass. If you got older kids that want to do all these different items, definitely look at the Wolf Pass, because it'll save you a lot of money to be able to do all these items. Because I mean, especially even some of the stuff with the wands can get expensive. Um, I mean, a lot of those, just the, the game is 15 bucks, wands another 20 right there. That's 35 bucks. You're almost close to paying for your different pass. So definitely consider looking into those. Plus there's all different types of different upgrades, especially if you're spending multiple days here uh, for food. I strongly recommend these because it can save you a lot of money as well. It saved us. Um, you have different levels of food items to where you, if you, give, you pay, I think what is it, we paid, the platinum package is what we got. They have all different tiers. They got a platinum, they've got three different tiers of, of food credits. Um, all the ones give you money. I think the smallest one is like 90 bucks and it gives you a hundred dollars worth of food credits. We got the platinum one, which was, I believe, $170. Um, and it gave you $200. So it basically gave you $30 worth of food for free. So it's probably about a meal for four, um, at least for free. So why not take the free money? Um, you, you can get as many of those as you want. We bought two platinum package deals. So we got $400 and dining credits for 340 bucks. I think that was a deal. And uh, it makes it easy to where you're not having to think about, you know, um, the small things like how much, I mean, the food can cost, can add up quite quickly out here, uh, for sure. Uh, especially even at the big services, because they're not quite Disney rates, but they're not cheap either. So keep that in mind. Um, so definitely the food packages are a lot of help. Plus sometimes if you book early, you can even get some of the cabanas out here for about 95 bucks. I think they usually run about 200, 250. So that's another thing to think about in there too. So lots of different ways to save um, and get different things. And remember that dining package, you can use it any eater, even Ben and Jerry's and Dunkin' Donuts as well. Right, so now just out past the lobby, we do have the outside pool area with some, there's some more cabanas chairs out here we have a little area of campfires and a bar out here as well which i don't think i've seen the bar out here open uh much this week but um this is also another wing of the hotel um so the downside too is this week they have not had this outside pool open once um now there is a hot tub that is just up those stairs that has been open because i don't think that requires a lifeguard but this pool area has not been open at all i'm assuming they don't have as many lifeguards to be able to watch the inside and the outside. Maybe a staffing type of situation. Uh, this was open when we were here back in 2019. Again, maybe a lot different um, as far as staffing goes and things like that. Um, but we have not been able to check out the pool at all since we've been out here. And as well as they also have a big playground out here 
Um, at the same time, this is also the same situation. This playground has been closed, which is a bummer because my kids love hanging out and checking out the different playgrounds. They are a big playground type of kid. And of course, right inside these doors is Camp Howell, which again has been closed. So this is the downside with, I, you know, I don't know if it's a situation of COVID um, or what the case may be. But uh, there has been a lot of things that have been closed that we haven't had the opportunity as well as the time frame for some of the great, um, the time frames for some of the items that are open are limited because they have a lot of, um, it's kind of funky hours really. A lot of things close at eight, which is when some of the parties are going on. So I, I don't know, uh, some things I just, I don't get. Uh, I think Dunkin' Donuts should be open all day, but it's only open till noon. So again, maybe a staffing thing, I don't know. But uh, you know, hopefully they eventually figure it out and go there because that, that has definitely been um, you know kind of a bummer when it comes to you know someone's vacation. Now one area I haven't really known this before, to be honest with you, is they have this little kind of area back here, a little grass here. You got kids you come around and play with different stuff, but this kind of gives you perspective on the hotel tower. Uh, you got seven floors on this side. I believe there are six floors on the side. The bottom floors are all like handicap accessible, but the bottom floors are the only ones that have what's called a balcony, which it's really not a balcony. It's just like more of a patio opened up to your room. Um, of course, divided by all these little wall dividers. So if you are interested in getting a um, canopy or a patio, there is different categories for these. So um, definitely keep an eye on the different styles you book. Otherwise, all the rest of the hotel uh, is just windows. So I know that there are some Great Wolf Lodges that have balconies. This one is just uh, the, the first floor patios. So keep that in mind when you are booking. You come into the water park, of course, what do you see? You see Fort McKenzie. This is the big, um, I guess, play structure for most kids. As two bigger slides, one smaller slide down here. And of course, a giant bucket that falls down probably about every five minutes or so. Got all kinds of water features, buckets that fall down, and stuff like that, and a lot of fun. Of course, you can find life jackets here for kids, uh, free to use, uh, all different sizes, even um, the little dipper ones with the thing in front. As you can see, going around, all kinds of different water features for kids to jump on and climb on. You can see the two slides right back here, and then of course you got the little one in front. Over here, we got the wave pool. This is probably one of my kids' favorite, favorite spots of all. Uh, way pool area, you know, you probably go for about 10 minutes on, five minutes off, uh, a lot of fun. Water which has been pretty warm for the most part. I mean, you are inside, as you can see from the outside, it's kind of cloudy, so, you know, again, the plus part with being in a water park, indoor water park, is it doesn't matter what the weather is outside. All around here, as well as on the outside, you got different cabanas. I believe these run about 250 per person. And I believe you get that for the whole day. You get a server that'll come around and you know take your food orders. Maybe you having to go over there. It's like you get some chairs, a little couch, a table, some more chairs, and the TV. And it uh, looks like some Wi-Fi or some it looks like some USB plugs on the wall over here. So again, if you, and even a and also a fan. It does get humid inside here, so that's something you guys want to do. Sometimes it's helpful for the family if you got a big group um, to have a cabana. Now, this area, depending on the day, has been either closed or open, but you have the basketball area right here, and then, of course, uh, what you see in a lot of videos is the logs that people kind of climb across. And my daughter tried it once. didn't really go so well, so she's like, I don't want to do it again. But... Like I said, the basketball area gets really full, um, really busy and stuff like that, but I'd say about half the time it's actually been closed. Now they do have the watering hole, which is over here, uh, standard pool bar. Um, you know, if you want need, need to get a cocktail while you're going around, uh, that's, a spot, that's a spot to check out. Now as we go around, we have, uh, it's called the Lazy River. Um, my family and I, we like to call it the Crazy River. Now, unfortunately, Strangely enough, um, maybe they're alternating it. There is no lifeguards out here, so they have the river closed for right now, whereas they have this open. So it seems like they don't, if they have one open, they don't have the other one open. I don't know, it's, it's crazy. 
but I don't call it the Lazy River because this thing actually moves quite quick and there's people trying to drop buckets of water on you and stuff like that all over the place so um, there's really nothing lazy about it. And back in this corner we have all the water slides. Uh, of course we have two um, tube slides and then you have a double and a single uh, tube slide here. Um, they both come out this way. I think these are like the speed slides. You can kind of race each other, stuff like that. Um, so these are the smaller ones. They go pretty quick, though, too. And over in here, we've got the family slide. Um, we got the big orange one, which has got that type of tube. Uh, this is the one where it comes into a big funnel. Makes you go way up. A lot of fun. And this is the one my daughter loves. This is a you know, like a single tube. The whole family can fit in and sit in. Um, it's just you know, whirling and twirling, so it gets really fast, so uh, that's something that she likes. And then, of course, these are the drop ones. Um, you get in kind of a little bubble, and you drop, and you go really, really fast, and you come creaming scream, out into the, this area. So those are your main slides. Some say that's a downside with this location, that there's only six slides, but, you know, it all depends on you know, what type of people you have for your family. Of course, lastly over here, we've got the kitty area. This is a great spot. You have three slides for younger children um, out here and a lot of little play toys and different things like that. Um, it doesn't go very deep. I think it's only like a two foot pool total. Um, so yeah, just all kinds of cool stuff for them to play on. Uh, kids love the slides, especially if they're afraid of some of the bigger slides. Uh, these are great because they get three, they get basically three different types. You got the purple one, the green one, and then two on the blue one, which is kind of the, the even younger one. So, lots of play area, lots of fun. Um, this is probably, like I said, more of the toddlers, children, stuff like that. And then, of course, we already showed you buckets, but this is the other side where buckets and timbers come to both sides. Uh, but yeah, like I said, of course, Timbers has been closed the whole time. So when you do come out here, you can you do have the towel return. Uh, you can check out towels if you're staying. You just use your wristband. They ask you how many towels you need, and you check them out. If you don't return them, of course, they charge you for them, but you return them at the end of the day, you're definitely fine. There are two different bathrooms there. There's one over here, and then there's one back by the kids' area. Um, and of course, you've got the locker rentals. I think there's three different size lockers. Uh, prices vary depending on the lockers. I'm not sure. We really don't use the lockers much ourselves, so um, I'm not sure what the pricing is on those. Uh, if you check Great Wolf Lodge's website, I'm sure they'll be able to tell you more. All right, so that's pretty much everything the resort has to offer. Um, there is a lot to do, a lot of different things. Um, if you have smaller children, I think this is a great style resort. Teenagers. I think they're gonna last maybe a day because there are only six slides. So they may get kind of tired of it real quick and they may not want to play in that jing the huge jungle gym. If you have smaller kids, they could probably sit on there all day like mine or mine love the wave pool. That my, my oldest can sit in there in that wave pool all day long and absolutely have a blast. So it really depends on your family and what your family needs are. If you got younger kids, I would probably recommend this. You probably find some great deals online put your email in the Great Wolf Lodge website. You can usually find some really, really great deals on there uh, to get you coming out for a couple of days or something like that. Come take the kids out to the water park, or maybe you want to come out to the water park. It's really up to you. Again, take advantage of those paw passes for kids. And also don't forget to download the Great Wolf Lodge app onto your phone. Because if you're staying here a couple nights, that, that's where you're gonna get all your information of the activities going on. They're gonna tell you pretty much the times that things open, um, as well as if you're getting food from out here, you can mobile order all from there, except for at Barnwood. You can't mobile order. Oh no, actually, no, I take that back. You can mobile order from Barnwood. So you pretty much mobile order everywhere from the phone. So that can save you a lot of time as well um, because they'll just text you when your food's ready. So you don't have to hang out and stand up there at the food area and wait for your food. So um, that's definitely another great saver. If there's anything that I did not go over that you still have questions on, please leave a comment down below. Let me know um, if there's anything, any information that I can help you out with. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, along with hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as hit those post notifications.
notification bell so that way you get notified of all the most recent videos that I do put out. Lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel, always check out that join button. That is uh, the, my Donut Life membership and uh, you can get entered into a monthly giveaway where you can get some great prizes, usually from Disney, maybe Great Wolf Lodge this time, I don't know, but I do it once a month for members only. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for following along with me. And as we like to say here, do what you like, do what you love. And always, guys, unleash your inner nerd. Take it easy. Later.